In this video, I'll be showing you the effective practical science-based way to massage for fibromyalgia. Now, you need to get this right because although massage can give great relief for fibromyalgia, some massages work well while others don't. And there's always a potential for the wrong massage to hurt or cause your fibromyalgia to flare up. There's a lot of really questionable advice about massage for fibromyalgia, so what I've done to work out what's best for you is to go over all the clinical trials and other scientific information and combine that with my 27 years experience as a chiropractor. And to keep this video short and on point though, I'll just tell you what you need to know and put all the scientific stuff in an article linked in the description. Now the first thing is that there's two basic sorts of massage. It's a superficial massage, they're the nice gentle ones, and there's the ones that get in really deep to those painful lumps. Now the ones that work best are the ones that get in deep to those painful lumps. In fact, science now shows that those lumps called trigger points are actually a big cause of fibromyalgia, so dealing with them is a very good thing. Now the trouble with deep massage is that they hurt, which brings us to the next point. Now if you suffer from fibromyalgia, you'll be very sensitive, which means that these massages will hurt even more and there's always a risk of flaring the problem up. Now that's why for fibromyalgia it's very important to choose non-painful therapies and start very conservatively and gradually increase as you improve and become more tolerant. Now the next thing is that you may get a little relief from one or two massages but to make a proper difference you'll need a lot more. Now to illustrate this all but one of the clinical trials for massage for fibromyalgia used from 10 to 30 applications of therapy but still only gave incomplete relief and once they stopped the massages the symptoms gradually returned. Now this means you'll need a very large number of sessions of therapy and they'll need to be continued indefinitely. Now also as well as needing a large number of massages the muscular conditions that need massaging are usually widespread on your body so you'll need prolonged whole body massages. Now, you're probably doing some adding up and realise that if you've got a professional therapist to do all that, it would be very, very expensive and very, very inconvenient. And that's why at least some of the massages will need to be self-massages. There's only one massage that gets into the deep spots, doesn't hurt, and you can easily do yourself, and that's vibration massage. And for those who are familiar with vibration massage, I'll demonstrate in my forearm so it's easy to see. Now with conventional massage, to get the nasty lumps in your muscles you need to press in. Now professional therapists will use something like elbows or thumbs, while if you do it yourself it will be usually things like balls and rollers. Now doing that hurts like hell, now especially if you have fibromyalgia, and if you do it yourself it's really hard work and you're likely to end up hurting yourself. Now on the other hand for the vibration massage, all you need to do is sit the machine over where you need massaging and let the vibration soak in. Now, those vibrations are shown to have excellent therapeutic benefits. Now they can penetrate much deeper and easier get to the parts that you can't reach with conventional massage. Now there's usually no pain, there's far less risk of causing any injury or damage, and you don't need any special skills, so it's very easy to do on yourself. Now you will need a strongly built massager that gives professional standard therapeutic vibrations. So uh, I'll run over how to choose one and then show you how to use on your fibromyalgia to give you the best results. Now for massage specs, don't bother taking notes. I'll link an article in the description with all that stuff. Now you'll need a massager that can deliver therapeutic vibrations from 30 to 50 hertz, which is cycles per second. Now, speeds are often quoted as RPM, which is rev per minute, so that's 1800 to 3000 revs per minute. Now, here's a gimmick warning. Now, you see machines with things like buttons, multiple speeds, and LED indicators. Now, that's not needed, and it's just something that can easily fail. Now, you're better off with a simple variable speed control like you'd find in a quality power tool. Now, that's solid, reliable, and give you any speed in the range you want. Now, a lot of the areas you'll need to be massaging are hard to reach, so you'll need a massager with a proper ergonomically designed handle. Now, you won't be able to do that with a massage gun shaped machine. Now, proper vibration massages will have a flattish head. Now, that's the best for comfort and vibration transfer. 
Now, a lot of machines have a variety of different heads, including shaped hard plastic ones that are designed to drive into the muscles rather than transmit vibrations. Now, like the multi-speed LEDs, these are a gimmick, but they're a dangerous gimmick because they can drive in and hurt you. Now, that's the last thing you need with fibromyalgia. Now, let's look at what you need to avoid. Now, most vibrating massages sold nowadays are percussion massages. Now, as we discussed in an article link in the description, these are designed to drive their heads in like jackhammers rather than deliver therapeutic vibrations. Now, that's why most come with those horrible hard plastic heads. Now, think of percussion massages as like meat tenderizers. Now, they give very little therapeutic benefits while creating a grave risk of causing pain or a flare-up. The second thing you need to be wary of are consumer personal use massages. Now, some UK research has found manufacturers of handheld massages have a long history of concentrating on what their massages look like on shop shelves rather than how they worked. Now, most of these machines are only marginally effective at best. And you may have noticed that I've said to avoid at least 95% of massages on the market. Well, that's about right, but maybe it's even a bit more. Now there's some good ones around, but they're usually professional machines that are very expensive and designed for a professional to use on a patient rather than self-use. And that's why a few years ago we built our own machines. Now I'll just briefly show you them, and if you want one there'll be a link in the description. Now this is our general purpose massage. Now we've had them for over a decade, and they're widely used by professionals, so they're extremely solid and reliable. Now on the business end we've got the comfortable flat head that delivers therapeutic vibrations right across the range I mentioned. Now it's got a proper ergonomically designed handle so you can easily reach anywhere on your body. And of course it's got an easy to use variable speed control. Now they do a brilliant job but you're limited to massaging the region under a single head. So a while ago we had a quad head massager built which can do a much larger area. Now, let's show you how to do the massage. Now, I'll start with the general usage, then specifically what to do for fibromyalgia. Now, these are extremely easy to use. Now, there's an article with hints and precautions linked in the description, but basically, all you need to do is sit the head on the part to be massaged and let the vibrations penetrate. There's no need to press in or move the machine around like you will with conventional massage. In fact, I don't want to see you doing that because it makes it less effective. Now, how do you massage for fibromyalgia? Now, these make it a lot easier, but fibromyalgia is still a very tough condition, so what I recommend you do is start by getting some professional advice from someone who deals with tough muscular conditions. Now, you want someone like a chiropractor, osteopath, or a well-qualified therapist. Now, he or she can give you great advice, such as finding your problem areas and making sure you're massaging them effectively. Now the actual massage is really simple, again demonstrating on the forearm so it's easy to see. A very effective massage for fibromyalgia will be about 50 hertz, which is about 90% of full speed on one of these for about 30 seconds. And then move along to the next spot. Now remember though that we need to start conservatively and build up, so depending on how sensitive you are, you might start with massaging some spots using say 30 hertz which is half speed for 10 seconds. Now as you improve each day you can build up. Now, as I said you need a lot of massages and they'll need to be continued indefinitely. Again it comes down to trial and error and consultation with a professional but you might work up to a decent massage every day then after a couple of months and you're getting really good maybe just do it once or twice a week. Now, if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments. Hey, thanks very much for watching. It has been most appreciated.